Hey, hey, welcome, greetings to all the busy being better queens and kings. How are you all doing this blessed day? I hope everyone is walking in your God-given power right where you are right now. That's the channel motto, to walk in your God-given power each and every day right where you are right now. The grass is no greener. It's only where you water it. My name is Jay and the name of my channel is Busy Being Better. And today I'm going to talk about every day is your time. Every day is your time. Do you have a healthy relationship with time? We need to ask ourselves that. What are some ways you have made peace with time? Interesting questions that we all need to ask ourselves. Until you value yourself, you won't value your time. And until you value your time, you will not do anything with it. You see, every day is like a bank account. And time is our currency. So no one is rich, no one is poor, because we all got 24 hours each day. And time can't be bought in a store and the clock will keep ticking with or without you being ready. And like it or not, I think that's a good thing. Um, our lives can be stressful at times. All of us deal with that. But learning how to use your time wisely can help you reduce anxiety and improve your personal productivity. It can make your life a lot more manageable and easier. So figure out how to use your time, queens and kings. It is arguably our most valuable commodity. And unlike treasured gems, precious metals, and any other prized possession, time can't be hoarded. Thank God for that. Can you imagine how that would look if time could be hoarded? It can't be hoarded. It can't be collected. It can't be earned or bought with hard work, money, dignity, or our own souls. The creator knew what he was doing when he created this time thing. You know what I mean? He had this all figured out. And time, it slips away, whether or not we choose to pack meaning into it or not. It slips away. Time just slips right on away. So use it. If you don't, you will lose it. As the saying goes, use it or lose it. Though we all know how limited our lives are in the time-space conjurer, we sometimes act like we don't know the value of time. We use words like spin, kill time, or waste time when we speak of how we while away the finite number of hours in each day. Time management systems abound and still we flounder and falter at making the most of every sunrise. We plan for the future and we neglect to cherish the present. We rather look back Riskfully, even though the future is full of hope 
And yet for many of us, it seems there are not enough hours in the day. We cram all that goes with living into 24 hours of ticking, bargaining with Father Time. Na naively, we're expecting Father Time to budge to our willful and result, resolute intentions to produce more, accomplish more, and to be more. We paddle in paradox. Limbs failing, trading in the quality of our lives while doggedly pursuing an idealized quality of life. That's messed up. And time, let me tell you, time, time likes, it likes all the treasures in the world. We can't take it with us when we reach our final stop. Some among us may never be willing to embrace happiness in and with the time that we do have. And for the rest of us, here are ways to improve our relationship with time. Some things may appear to be contradictory. And this is a testament to complex nature of our relationship with time. We got to live it up, people. Live it up. Have fun. Enjoy your life. Do things you've always wanted to do that you keep putting off. Find the time. It's there. You just got to do it. Steal it if you have to. By block out a chunk of time only for yourself. Steal time. Make an appearance, but don't linger. Take a vacation day or a vacation week. Delegate a task to your child, like putting their toys away. Push back a deadline. Double task. Go for a hike with a friend <laughs> as activity that takes care of two social and physical facets of your life. And be fierce, be fierce, be fierce with your time. Do only those things that matter to you. In a relationship that isn't going anywhere. Stop doing things that don't bring joy or results. Cancel a commitment. Skip a task. Silence all the distraction, that noise. And say no. And call up your inner sage. Call it up. Time loves that. Call your inner sage up. By taking a minute to list what you like to accomplish. Be realistic about how long each item will take to complete. Arrive late and leave early, also known as scoop in and scoop out. However, that's not recommended for a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Don't do that in that case. Show up for things that matter and keep doing things that work. Respond and engage only when you're ready. And don't do only those things that need that. Do only those things that have an urgent deadline. Screen your calls and scan your emails. And succumb to time's might. Succumb. To the might of time. Ask for help. Let chores slide. Let things be. Let go of guilt and enjoy every second of your life. 
busy being better queens and kings. You got this. You got this. You've been listening to my channel long enough. You should have enough moves in place to take care of this pretty quickly if you haven't already. But as you said, time is so precious and vital to our life. And I can remember my mom, she would say this so much, never put off for tomorrow what you can do today. She was a time, let's get it done. Let's, all facets, I mean, she had it mastered. And I think we really don't realize, or maybe I should say we take it so for granted. We take time for granted. And I find the more of life you take for granted, the less pleasurable life is. And I made up a little song about time. I want to kind of blurt it out. I sing a lot, guys. I, if you listen to my channel, you've been hearing some here off and on. I sing mostly around the house because I don't, I don't attest to be a singer, but I love to sing. And I enjoy it because I use it as a form of prayer. It's also enjoyment. It makes me feel good. And I'm just, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just in another world when I'm singing. So I made up this little song about time. And it goes like this, queens and kings. 24 hours a day. What do we do with our time? We are all given the same amount each day. And there are times we wish we could go back. Envision in the future and regret in the past. Envision, envision the future and stop regretting your past. Don't regret your past. It's part of who you are right now while you're such your great, loving, beautiful self. And keep living. Take it light. Enjoy your time each day, one moment at a time. Thanks to all the queens and kings who are watching. Any new queens and kings who have joined today, welcome, welcome aboard. You found the right channel. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Thumbs, thumbs, hit that thumbs up button, guys. I need that help. And hit the notification bell. So whenever I do a video, you will be the first to be alerted. Thanks so much to all. I appreciate each and every one of you. And peace, love, and blessing out to everyone.